today, we had the opportunity to hear the governor address us as he does annually in the chamber. I was pleased with the governor's comments. One of the things that he didn't do was tell us how great the state is. He was a realist. He was a pragmatist in his comments. Uh, he wasn't looking for applause lines. He wasn't looking for anything except cooperation. Did he focus on a few accomplishments? Certainly did. But his main purpose in the speech was to remind us of the importance that we have to come together to, together cooperatively to find a way to solve these, the, the budget crisis. Not one party alone can do it. We all have to work together. And I was really pleased that that was the focus of his message. The other thing that he did was he singled out the Senate for praise. And I was glad that he did that because for the last few weeks, the Senate has taken a very activist role, a very vocal role in trying to say, it's time to solve these problems, it's time to come together. Now, they've got a package of bills, some of which I don't particularly like. That's okay. What the governor was praising and what I indeed praise is the fact that they're talking, that they're actually communicating. Even if they don't agree, they're talking. And that's something that's been sorely lacking for two years. So I'm very proud of them for doing that. I'm very proud of my senator uh, for being involved in those discussions. And I think that that's the path forward. What that final uh, budget deal might, what form that might take, we don't know yet. So I'm not prepared to comment on that, but I'll keep you updated as these matters develop. Thank you again for watching my video blog and I look forward to communicating with you again. Take care.